What's up, guys? Uh, I'm Chris, and uh, welcome to VHB Engines. So, fuck, man, I am pretty pumped to talk about this right now. Um, so, bringing you some, some uh, what was it, breaking news? Breaking news, right? Because, well, breaking for me, I don't know how much, how many of you people know about this, but I'm just finding about this because of a video that went live on, you, on Facebook uh, like eight hours ago, nine hours ago now. Um, so... Hub City Performance got interviewed by somebody. <laughs> I, I don't recognize the guy. My bad if he's somebody famous, uh, but I don't recognize him. Anyway, so the important thing is, is this fucking all-wheel drive revolution. Now, this is something I've mentioned on the channel before, talked about it, like, but not never in depth because they're, now I'm not saying that these guys are the first ones to do all-wheel drive, but um, everything that I've seen, like rear-wheel drive Hondas or whatnot, there's always something crazy, like with the engine swap in the back of the you know the car or cut out and custom mounts and all whatnot. I think what I've talked about on this channel before was that it's only a matter of time before people do this and make it mainstream because people have been already experimenting with this kind of shit for years. And it seems like this Hub City Performance team has, you know, done it with relative ease. Um, and it opens up uh, opens up a lot of possibilities for a lot of different things. And first off, I want to say that, you know, these guys are holding the number two spot for all-wheel drive um you know, in drag racing, like seven, eight, five, their Civic ran. Uh, they're they're number two. Uh, I'm not sure if it's overall or just by Civics. I think it's overall. Um, I'm not 100 percent sure though. But anyway, number two, whether it's overall or by Civics in general, that's still fucking beast. And it ran a seven, eight, five, <laughs> seven, eight, five. That's fucking crazy retarded. Now I was talking to a friend of mine uh, who I've mentioned on here a few times, Alexander Tomlinson. For those of you guys that live in South Florida, you should know him. Builds a lot of fast K series. Um, he was going over some of the details with me because I, this is the first time I'm hearing about these guys and this shit. And he's, you know, keeps his ear a lot closer to the drag racing world than I do. Now, um, I was like, well, in the walkthrough, it shows the pumpkin they use. They talk about the uh, the different things they use to make the setup work. And I was like, well, what transmission are they using? You know, it didn't really say. I didn't know if they took like some kind of conventional transmission and somehow made a conversion or whatever. But he's like, uh, for K-Series, they're using all-wheel drive CRV, and for B-Series, they're using uh, all-wheel drive, you know, uh, CRV, B-Series training. Now, when he's talking to me, he's talking to me about, he said that, uh, I was like, well, I'm guessing, I'm assuming that the gears are, you know, you can play with the gears a little bit, swap them around. And uh, he's like, nah, he's like, the, the K-Series trans all-wheel drive uh, is the same thing as a normal K-Series transmission. He goes, and the parts interchange. Uh, B series all wheel drive trans is basically a H tranny with a B series case, so it bolts to a B. Uh, currently, no gear sets for H series, so everyone went uh, K all wheel drive. But, and he shared with me B series all wheel drive four speed dog gear set. Uh, now, see, my thing is, is like, you know, the commonality is uh, CRV uh, all wheel drive, right? So for the K series, you got all-wheel drive set up from the CRV, and from the uh, B series, you have all-wheel drive set up. Um, now, another thing he didn't talk about, what I mentioned, is I'm fairly certain that the D series wagon also had a six-speed all-wheel drive manual transmission. So now we have the formula set up for K, B, and D series all-wheel drive cars. Um, and even in the video of the uh, Hub City Performance, they mentioned that you know you could use the axles from the Civic wagon. So, naturally, I would imagine that you could do this kind of setup uh, with a D-Series then. And I just, wow, this just this explodes to the scene. And all three major uh, engine uh, families have it, DB and K. That's, that's amazing. And what's also fucking amazing, you know, I'm a cheap-ass bastard, but even I cannot complain that this prefabricated kit that these guys make is, uh, you know, is expensive. Um, especially when you consider how many head packages are out there that cost like thousands of dollars. These guys are selling this shit for 1400 and change. And you know, you know, 1400 plus shipping is what they said. So that's, that's pretty friggin' amazing. And I would imagine with everything they have is maybe a couple hundred dollars in shipping because, you know, the, the drive shaft and the, and the, and the rear differential would, I imagine is decently heavy, but that's crazy for less than $2,000. You have a an all-wheel drive conversion kit that looks pretty simple and easy to set up. This is pretty fucking amazing. I found a new a new group of guys to fanboy over. Um, 
these dudes and their all-wheel drive setup, you know, combined with uh, with fucking four piston racing and their insane head packages, man, it's all-wheel drive is going to be taken over by Honda in the very near future once this gets spread out and more people are using it and maybe tweaking it for more power later on down the line. Um, I'm going to leave a link to their to their Facebook to go through and watch their video. Uh, and I'm going to share it on uh, VH Media's Facebook page as well. Uh, this is this is some great shit, man. And this is something that even I would consider myself doing in the future. And normally I'm not excited for NA builds. Everything I do, everything is turbo. But the more I think about it, the more the, for practicality's sake, I would very much like to do a um, an NA K series and an older chassis, you know, so that way you have the weight advantage. Because I'm thinking 300 horsepower on pump gas is not a, a hard thing to accomplish anymore with K. So, oh man, dude, like I've had a 400 horsepower car, and I could I could possibly see myself in the future making something that's 500 plus. Uh, if I hit my target goals with the Integra build, it's gonna be 500. But you know, the fact is that to get around the whole thing about being able to drive the car wherever you want to and be able to perform consistently, you just got to, you know, NA is the way to go with that. And now, for practicality's sake, who wants to even say that I'm going to drive any Honda I build or cross country or whatever. But it's just nice to be able to know that I can if I want to. All right, so, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm done geeking out about that. Uh, I'm just going to finish this up and share the video and uh wow humble performance or not humble jesus christ that's um that's a whole nother guy man but hub city performance hub city performance and what they're doing <laughs> big fucking things all right guys uh thanks for watching and peace